All right, guys. Bang, bang. Lunch money time on Thursday. Thursday. Well, Wall Street's trying to get rich. The rest of us just trying to get our lunch money right. Bang, bang. Don't forget, BlockFi is now sponsoring lunch money. If you go and you sign up for an account and you fund it before July 18th, they will pay you double interest in the month of August. What does that mean? You can go to the link in the description. You have to use the link in the description because that's the promo link. If you use that link and create a BlockFi account, you can deposit money, whether it's crypto, a stable coin, whatever, and they will pay you up to 8.6% APY for the year, right? But in the month of August, they will give you 2x what you would normally earn. So go sign up for a BlockFi account, fund it before July 18th, get 2x the interest, and let's get going. What's going on with Coinbase? Let's get going. Okay. Coin- you have a Canadian... Uh- I thought you were going to say Canadian accent. Suit? No, just a jacket. By the way, my beautiful and intelligent Polina Marinova is here as a co-host today. Okay. I forgot that part. You don't have to remember that part. Um, Crypto exchange Coinbase. You're so memorable, though. Go ahead. I don't know what that means. Coinbase has started plans for a stock market listing that could come as early as as this year, making it the first major U.S. cryptocurrency exchange to go public. Mr. Bitcoin, what do you think? I thought that I, I meant to say that you're so uh, um, unforgettable. That's what I was trying to say. You're unforgettable. Right. Uh, Coinbase going public. First of all, they're not necessarily going public. They're exploring the option right. or the opportunity to do that through a According direct listing. According to sources via Reuters. Yes. So through a potential do- do- uh, direct <laughs> listing. Jesus, I can't talk today. What is going on? Through a potential direct listing, they are thinking about going public. There's two ways to look at this, right? One is uh, that they're going to do it. The other is that they're just testing the waters. Uh, We are investors in the company, so I won't say too much. I don't know anything, so I can't really say anything anyways. Um, But I think it's interesting, right? Like if they were the first large crypto company to get out in the public markets, you got to think that people would be excited about it and uh, there would be value there. But time will tell. What is – okay, so – Other than that – Coinbase was last valued at eight billion. Do we think that? So why would they go public this year? Well, I think a lot of companies. You see, Palantir. A lot of these companies have been private for a long time. They're interested in going public right now because the public markets are exploding, right? Just yeah. literally, asset prices are getting pumped to the moon through uh, quantitative easing and stuff. And so, when good times are rolling uh, in the stock market, good people want to get in there. Rolling. All right. Uh, oh my God! Please next don't ever do up. That again. <laughs> I mean, YouTube's going to take down this video for copyright material. Go ahead. Copyright material? Yeah. Who, who's, who's I have a monopoly on like good this? singing. What's going on with the okay. Ivy League? Ivy League cancels football and other fall sports due to COVID. So yesterday I turned to Anthony and I was like, I did not realize that when somebody says an Ivy League school, it's because they're in an Ivy League for football. Like I never even thought of that. That's so dumb. We used to play the Ivy League schools when I was in college. They're not very good at football. We what used to league beat were most you of in? them, the Patriot League, oh. which is basically the poor man's Ivy League. I was I went to the Harvard of the South. If anybody's interested, you went to Georgia. Yeah. Let's let's not it's, get it's crazy. It's the Harvard of the South. Yeah. Look oh, it up. Okay. Sure. Um. So the Ivy League. Officially- I could have gotten into Georgia, and I didn't even try at that the SAT. Ain't true. That ain't true. All right. But the Do- Ivy League officially canceled fall athletics, including the football schedule, in a very extremely difficult decision. I mean, there's two ways to look at it. One is if the students aren't allowed on campus to take classes, you can't really have the football season happen, Duh. right? It's like that kind of, they were forced there. Uh, and the second thing is, look, I get it. You kind of have no choice. At the same time, are the football players playing on the field actually at risk of contracting COVID? Mm, arguable, but there is a lot that goes into the support staff, the coaches, all of the people who, uh, the athletic trainers, the people who provide the food, all that kind of stuff. You just get more and more people all colliding together. Football teams are large. They usually have, you know, anywhere between 80 to 100 people. So I, I get it. So when I was in high school and I was getting all these college marketing materials sent to me. For football? Were you getting recruited? At, no, like college marketing. Like go to my college. And one of them was one of the Ivy Leagues. I, I, I forget which one it was. But what I do not did not forget is that the marketing material said for their football team, somebody holding a sign at a football game that said, we will beat you with our brains. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, yeah. They're, they're real big <laughs> on uh, trying to be nerds. That's so bad. That's I was why like, they got ache. torched. Anyway. All right. Yale, 
Darius Dale, my boy, he went to Yale. He used to smack him around real easy. Okay. I, 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 Harvard. I've met. Played at Harvard multiple times, twice, I think. I've met him, and you did not smack him around. No, we beat them. Nah. Yeah, we did. Uh, okay. Uh, Princeton. A lot of people don't know this. Princeton Stadium looks like an old school Roman Coliseum. That was pretty cool to play it. Okay. This is not. We're, we're trying Just to saying. inform the people. Okay. Which, I'm informing them. I'm teaching them. Using my life experiences. What's going on with the Disney bubble? Okay, so what the hell is this Disney bubble? So the NBA season, the NBA season is set to resume at the end of the month after being suspended since March 11th. And the 22 teams selected to finish out the season will convene at the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando. Where all yeah, it's the already games started. So basically oh. what they did is they said, okay, we're all going to go into this place. No one's allowed in or out. The bubble and, meals. Sorry. Yeah, we're, we're basically no one's allowed in or out. And we're going to play basketball. Right. And they've got all kinds of practice courts. They've got uh, arena set up. Uh, but remember, these are like NBA players. They're used to a certain style of uh, a mm-hmm. lesser lifestyle. So like literally there's photos now surfacing of them uh, with plates of food that literally the, the best They're thing I heard bubble meals. The best thing I heard somebody said, yo, it looks like you went to Hudson News and got <laughs> your meal. right? Like the place at the airport. Yeah, it has salad pasta grilled chicken inside like potato chips and watermelon slices honestly like it seems like a pretty good dinner to me what are they complaining you're a about? professional athlete what do you what do you normally eat professional athletes uh a couple years ago there was a guy um von miller who he missed practice one day and reporters asked him yo what happened why didn't you show up? why didn't you have to go to practice today so i got sick and they were like what, what did you do did you eat something like what he goes i had mozzarella sticks yesterday you know you can't put regular gas in a ferrari yeah. <laughs> same thing yeah, here this you can't pasta be putting this nasty appetizing. ass stuff in these people's also, bodies also this is what's wrong with america let me just tell you you cannot mix salad with big ass watermelon okay. slices well, that is disgusting my other favorite tweet yeah. that i saw was one of the nba players took a picture of the food that he had and said lebron ain't eating this <laughs> being Wait, like i know Le- i know you ain't giving the same food to lebron that you're giving to me <laughs> is lebron in the bubble yeah of course oh. So we'll see. Look, it, hey, good for them for trying. Uh, I tend to think that people want sports back, right? And it's kind of like a, a mental relief, frankly, for a lot of people uh, who are going through hard times right now. So if they can do it safely, like more power to them. But if you're an NBA player right now, uh, what, what was it? Paul Pierce uh, went on TV and uh, Paul Pierce and Stephen A. Jackson, I think, were two guys who basically said, look, if you think that no one's violating the uh, the bubble, you're crazy. And they're like, what do you mean? And they were like, look, man, come on. These are grown ass men. You tell them they can't see their wives, they can't see their girlfriends, they can't see the you know women. Come on, it's not happening. Okay, so when sports comes back, would you rather watch sports or hang out with me? Sports. All right, what's going on with Twitter? <laughs> what's going on with Twitter? I'm putting you in a bubble. Okay, Twitter- I've been living in a bubble with just you for like months now. Okay, what's going on with Twitter? Okay, Twitter may be working on a paid product and investors seemed seem thrilled about it. Shares rose on the news. Uh, There's a subscription platform codenamed Gryphon, and I don't understand. Griffin. Oh, (laughs) wait, are you sure it's not Gryphon? Positive. Wait, why is it Griffin? It's not spelled like Griffin, let me tell you that. DH makes an F sound. Yeah, Gryphon. Go ahead. Okay, it's a, described as a new team that's building a subscription platform that can be reused by other teams in the future. I don't understand what that means. Basically, I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to figure out how do you do subscription payments on Twitter. What's unclear is does that because they're going to create something that could be competitor to Substack, it could oh. be a competitor uh, to like Patreon, where you say, "Hey, look, I'm going to put my tweets behind a paywall. If you want to read my tweets, pay me for oh, them." I see, I see. Right? Like it could be for a whole bunch of different things. It like could a- be video. Like, hey, I'm going to post videos on YouTube or on uh, Twitter. That could be interesting. Uh, but you got to pay me to see them. Sure, maybe. You've always said though, on the flip side, kind of not you charging for tweets but you've said that if twitter tomorrow be- went behind a paywall you would pay to access i'd pay a hundred dollars a month wow to yeah. access twitter yeah why because it is the single most powerful platform that i have access to in terms of the information that i glean from it the people that i interact with meet and talk to uh and then from a distribution standpoint we met on twitter how much is that worth a hundred dollars a month i've already paid too much <laughs> all right what's going on with uber <laughs> Uber is going to offer boat rides in London as a new commuter service. So Uber boat is coming, guys. I'm on a boat. No. You know what that is? No. What is that? 
No, do you know what I'm on a boat is? Yes, it's a song with the flippy floppies. You don't know. She doesn't get it. She doesn't get I'm it. On... Have you ever seen Step Brothers? Oh, yeah, that's a stupid movie. Boats and hoes. <laughs> that's not what I was talking about. I know that's not what you're talking about, but like so, the people on the internet get it. You're over here singing some song from 1942. All right, let's go. What, what is uh, <laughs> what is Uber uh, doing? They're just, um, they just got like a ferry. It's like a ferry. It's kind of like a ferry. Um, the service will be operated by the river bus service. I don't. Uh, I so don't they're basically really just understand. partnering with like a ferry like service. And then you can use, but you can use Uber the app. To, to book it. Yeah. I mean, look, it makes sense. What did I, what did I say yesterday? Uber is a logistics company. They move things from point A to point B. Those things could be people. They could be uh, food. They could be logistical packages. Uh, it's all that stuff. That's what Uber's business is. They are in the business of moving things. Why not move it over water? Sure. But if it works, would they go and start doing international shipping uh, across water? International shipping? Less like, humans? What's the difference between taking uh, a package across oh. Manhattan to put in the package on a boat and taking it somewhere. Yeah, that you never no know. Much of a difference. What's going on, my man? Usain Bolt, fastest yeah. man alive. He had, and also the guy who's absolutely having a blast. He had. Okay, okay. The, don't I don't know what you're doing right now. That's you that's dabbing? his move. Oh, no, that's his oh. move. He when he wins, he goes like this. Okay, well. You say Are you ready? Bolt. Oh my god, I forgot my joke for today. Come on, let's oh, go. No. I got plenty of jokes. Okay. Um, Okay, so he just had a daughter. Guess what he named her? It's a, they they are calling it. Her name is incredibly awesome and also a subtle flex. Champion. Kind of. Ooh, really? No. Oh, there he is doing the move. I told you. All right. So Usain Bolt named his daughter Olympia Lightning Bolt. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> What? what a savage. That's so much better than Elon Musk. What name. a maniac, but what an awesome name. Not only do you get the use of his fantastic nickname, Lightning Bolt, but you also get a reminder of Bolt's Unreal Olympics performance. Olympia Lightning Bolt? Oh, <laughs> man. You know she better oh, be look fast. At how cute she, is. she better be fast. But if she has no interest in sports whatsoever, it don't matter. Your dad's Usain Bolt. You better get running. Uh, Can you imagine all the kids talking shit in the in middle school? Oh, your dad Usain Bolt! I could beat you in a race right now. You ain't nothing. Olympia, like Olympics, and well, also we, Olymp we get that lightning bolt. How amazing! This is his girlfriend. I have a joke. Baby. What? Oh my god! Such a cute baby. Knock knock. I, I'm not there. <laughs> knock knock. What? No, you guys. Knock knock. Who's there? Orange. Aren't you special? No. <laughs> Orange me pretty. No. <laughs> what is it? Knock, knock. Okay, who's there? Orange. Orange who? Aren't you tired of putting up with me yet? See? Yeah, I am. Thank you. Yeah, see? I <laughs> that, tell nice jokes. It wasn't as good as mine. Why not? Um, because it's... <laughs> what? Like, the I got the duck, I got the pig, and like, you don't got no farm animals. <laughs> We're not okay. farmers. We live in the middle of Manhattan. What what farm yeah, is but here? Everybody knows a farm animal makes a really good, funny joke. Like what? Like a fruit does not. Did you see the joke on the internet where they go like, what's a dog make? What's a uh, cat make? What sound does a cow make? And they go, what, song, what noise does a whale make? And they drink water and they spit it on each other. Yeah, that's dumb. I saw that on TikTok. Okay. Yeah. I'm off All right, TikTok. Guys. I'm out. I'm not in the surveillance world. I'm out. Is today Thursday? Yeah. Yes. Why? Happy Thursday. Do you have a joke? I don't. Can we talk real quick? I'm surprised that you didn't talk about the Glee star who's missing from her boat. Okay, that's really sad. I don't want to talk about it. The her. woman drowned, we think. Well, we don't think. She's missing from No, the I, boat. I think that she drowned. We don't know what happened. Yeah, we don't know. A woman went on a boat with her four-year-old, uh, and they found the boat floating later, and the woman's not there, but the four-year-old was. Uh, it had a life vest on. It was sleeping he on the boat. had a life vest on. What did I say? It. It. Oh, yeah. He. That's how you know so, somebody doesn't have a kid is when they still refer to the kids as it. So not then he they or she. asked him, where's your mom? And he said she went swimming and didn't come back. Yeah. So it's really sad. Yeah. So but I hope we'll I mean, see what happens. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay. Usain. Boop. Lunch money time. Well, while she's trying to get rich, the rest of us is trying to get her lunch money right. Why did you have to end on such a sad note? Usain. Boop. Have a great day. Aren't you glad? See ya. Bang, bang.
Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Lunch Money as much as we did. And don't forget, Lunch Money is now sponsored by BlockFi, so go check them out. There's a link in the description that you can click on. I'm an investor, a user, and a huge fan. What? You're a bigger fan of BlockFi than you are of me? BlockFi is my second favorite thing in the world behind Polina. <laughs> They've got three products. <laughs> they can give you a U.S. dollar loan. You can earn up to 8.6% interest on an interest-bearing account, or you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies on their crypto exchange. I personally use the interest-bearing account. There's not very many places where you'll find up to 8.6% interest on a deposit in an interest-bearing account. Go do your own research. There's risk associated, but 8.6% is pretty compelling. So click on the link in the description. Say thanks to the folks at BlockFi. Subscribe to our channel. Like the video. Annoy Polina in the comments. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. And be kind to your friends.